Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free header and footer for Divi's crowdfunding layout pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Next, you need to download this header and footer layout pack. So I'm going to scroll down here, click on get it for free today. And then I'm going to add my email address, click on download and then click on download the files. So you can see here, this has been downloaded. It's on the bottom left of my screen. Next, I need to unzip this. So I need to find it in my finder. And here it is on my desktop. So what I need to do next is to unzip this file. So I'm going to double click on it. So now we have this file here, crowdfunding global header footer template. So we're going to come back to this in a moment. So I'm just going to drag it over here to my other screen. Next, we need to go into our website now. So I'm going to click here. And first of all, before we get started, let me show you what our header and footer looks like right now. So I've just opened this in a new tab and here we go. So I just have this normal header here. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and this is our footer. But as you can see, this is not really looking great. And uh, definitely we can make this look better with our header and footer template. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to head over to a Divi and then click on a theme builder. So here on the theme builder, you can see there's nothing loaded up here. So we can add now our header and footer template by clicking on portability. Next, we need to click on import. And remember that file that we unzipped, it's over here. So I'm just going to drag this to the screen so we can see it. Now, this file here is unzipped. So you can see we unzipped it from this one here. If you try to install it here as, as a zipped file, it will not work. So you need to make sure you unzip it. And then I'm just going to drag it and drop it here. Now, another way of doing it is just clicking here and then navigating to the folder manually. But so I tend to do this uh, this way because it's quicker. All right. So with these two options selected, I'm going to click Import Divi Theme Builder Template. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, all my templates are going to be imported onto my website. Now, let's just take a quick look at what our header and footer looks like. So this is our footer right now. This is our header right now. So once this is complete, in fact, it's complete now. Let me show you what this is going to look like now that we've installed our header and footer. So I'm just going to hit save changes here. Next, I'm going to come back and refresh this page. Now we can see that we have a totally different header here. We have our navigation here. We have these two call to action buttons, and we also have a message here, social media, and also this login button. So this is our header area. Now let's move all the way down here to the footer and see if that has changed. And sure enough, it has changed. We have this massive uh, opt-in uh, option here, and we also have a nice clean footer area here on the bottom. All right, so what we're going to do next is, as you can see, this is a header and footer for a crowdfunding layout pack. So what would really look nice is if this page is also for crowdfunding. So let's go ahead and add our pre-made layout for crowdfunding. So I'm just going to go in here. Now, you don't have to do this, but uh, it's always uh, advised that you use the header and footer that goes along with the actual layout pack. So that way you will have consistency. Okay, so I'm going to come to the bottom here and click on this plus button and I'm going to search for crowdfunding. And here we can see all our pages that have something to do with crowdfunding. So we have our campaigns page, we have our contact page and so on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and install this landing page. I'm going to hit uh, use this layout. And like I said, you don't really have to do this, but it's advisable that you have the header and footer that goes along uh, with the actual layout pack. Design wise, you'll have a lot of consistency. OK, great. It's now added. So I'm just going to hit save and exit the visual builder. So I'm going to exit. And remember, I spoke about the consistency. You can see this button here is consistent with this area here. We also have colors that look great. and Basically, this is the reason why we're doing this. So as I scroll through this, you can see now this is a beautiful layout. And also right here at the bottom, the footer also works well with this layout. Okay, great. So the next step now is to show you how you can go in and customize the header and the footer itself to make it your own design. 
So perhaps you may have uh, these fonts here not working well with the fonts that you already have. So this is where you can go in and make these changes. So let me show you how you can go in and do that. So over here, I'm on my theme builder. So I'm going to click here on this pencil icon to go into my global header. So this is where I'm going to make all my changes. So let's start and take a look at our button here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon. It's going to take me to my button settings. So you can change this text, which says start a campaign to whatever text you want. The most important thing here, by the way, is to make sure you add your link over here. Otherwise, this button here will not work. Next, I'm going to come over here to design, click on button. And this is where you get all your custom styles for this button. So let's say you want to um, adjust the size. You can increase the size. We can reduce the size. Okay, so I'm just going to go back here. Okay, so we can set this to whatever size we want. And next, let's say you want to play around with the colors. So you can change the color here. Of course, that doesn't look great. But you can play around with the colors that you may want to play around with here. The background color here, let's go with this one. So as you can see, we can go in and really customize this to match our branding colors. We also have a border radius here, so we can set this to perhaps say 5. And now I've just made a quick updates to that. So this is how you can go in and make changes to the button. Now the same applies to this button here as well. So that is your interface that you need to go into. Next, let's take a look at our logo here. So for our logo, I'm just going to click here on my settings and to add your own logo, you can just click anywhere in here. You can delete that and click on this plus button. And now you can add your own logo. So let's say I add this one, upload an image, and now my logo has been added. So it's as simple as that. Okay. Next, I'm going to hit save. Next, over here now, I'm going to take a look at our social media icons. So the very first thing you need to do here is to make sure you add your links. So this needs to link to your landing pages for your social media platforms. Right now, I just added a blank link, but in your case, you need to add your landing pages for that. Let's say you want to add another social media platform here. You can just duplicate the existing one and then click on this gear icon Click here on Instagram and uh, change this to perhaps a Skype so you can see that it has been added very, very easily. And again, make sure you add your account name and they'll be able to call you from here. OK, so I'm going to close out of here. Next, we have a login button here. Now, this login button is similar to what you can do with these buttons here. OK, next, let's take a look at our menu. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and my menu is right here. So you need to have created this menu beforehand. Otherwise, this won't work. So once you create the menu, it's going to show here. So if I click on this drop down, you can see I have this member press classroom. So this is the menu I created earlier on. And this is just to demonstrate that this is where this will show. OK, so let's say you want to customize the text here. So you'd need to come over here to design menu text and you can change your font here. So let's say the font that you use on your website is Poppins. You can just select it like that. You want to make it bold? No problem. Just come over here, set this to bold. Next, let's say you want to play around with the colors so you can change your colors over here. So you can see here yeah, just by just clicking all these colors, this is updating instantly. OK, so this is how you update this. OK, so let me close out of here. Next, I'm going to come to um, our next item here, which is our blurb settings. So here is where you can add your title and there's more information here, the 34K or 50K goal. And you also have an image and icon. So here we have a heart, but you can add whatever image that you want from your library. So let's say I'm going to go with this one here. I'll just select it, upload image, and you can see there it has just gone in just like that. OK, so I'm going to close out of here. So those are the main areas you can go in and customize. Now, you may have noticed we have a subtle color here in the background. Now, that can be customized by coming over here to our row settings. Click on our first column go to the background and this is the background color. So if I were to change this to that, you can see now this has been updated. So in your case, you can go in and update this background color and match it with whatever color palette you have. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. So that is what you need to do over here on your header. Now I'm going to close out of here. I don't need to save anything. So I'm going to discard and exit. Now the same thing applies to the footer. Click on the pencil icon and this will take you into the builder.
All right, so we are on our footer here. Let's start with our email opt-in. So uh, this email opt-in here is very important because if you don't do these settings correctly, you are going to have a lot of problems because this will not work. So let me show you exactly what you need to do here to make this work. So I'm going to click here on my module settings. This is going to take me to my email opt-in. So first of all, you can change the button text. You can you know, change this to download or get offer or whatever it is. So we just want to leave it as subscribe. No problem. Next. We're going to scroll down here to the most important part I was referring to. So you want to make sure you connect this email opt-in with your email service provider. So if I click on email account, you can see here we have service provider and there's a lot that we can choose from. So I'm pretty sure that you will have yours listed here. So we even have Fluent CRM, we have ConvertKit, Aweber, we have Constant Contact and so on. So once you've selected it and beforehand, you need to have created a list so that when someone adds their email address, they get added onto the list. OK, so once you uh, connect this, you click on this drop down, you select the list, you click on add and that really activates this. Now, this now takes me to our next step, which is our success action. So here it's very important as well, because you want to make sure that you give them a message after they hit subscribe or you can send them to a page, a specific page on your site. And this page needs to have been created beforehand in order for you to uh, add it over here. So let's say you created the page. You just come over here, paste the page. And as soon as they hit subscribe, they will be redirected to that particular page. So as you can see, this is very, very powerful. And uh, this will make this email opt-in work really, really well for you. OK, next, if you want to do any customizations here, you can just click on this uh, paintbrush icon and let's say you want to change the colors of the button. So I can just change it here just like that. And my text color can be updated over here as well. OK, but the most important thing is this works for you. All right. So this text here, this is a text module. You can go in and instead of saying let's be the change, you can change this to whatever you want. And that's pretty much straightforward. If you want to make any changes to this, you can just click on this pencil icon and on this paintbrush icon. And this will take you over here now and you can change the colors. So your heading text, change it to that. Perhaps this is your color on your color palette. And if you want to play around with the sizes, you can just reduce the size here if that is too big for you. So that's what you can do over here next. And uh, this is now our links on our footer. So to make changes to this, just click on this gear icon and you can see here this is our text settings. So this is our main title here, heading four. And these are the links. So to add your links, all you need to do is to highlight it. Click on this little icon here. And this is where you would need to add your URL to the medical page. You need to add the same for the education, the business, the environment and social. Make sure you add your links. That is what makes this all link up properly. OK, so once you've added that, pretty much you're good to go. You need to do this one by one. And once you're done, you know, these are going to link to the right places, which takes us now to the next thing. And because what you do here is pretty much the same with the other links over here. So it takes me now to the next uh, step, which is the logo. So again, the logo here is just an image. And like I did before, you can just delete this and add your logo and pretty much you're good to go. Finally, we have our social media icons. And again, it's pretty much the same as what I showed you on during the header stage. So you add all your all your links to your social media pages and over here is a text uh, module. You can just go in and make changes to that as well. So pretty much this is how you can go in and customize this. And once it's customized, you now have a beautiful looking header and footer for your website. All right. So let's just take a look one more time at our header and footer with the actual layout pack added. So this is our header. And if I scroll all the way down here, you can see a lot of consistency here. This is looking great. And you know what? Here is our footer. Fantastic. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.